Woods sitting on a bed is a viral photograph of a man sitting on the edge of a bed completely nude. The original image has been around on the internet for quite some time now. And it's recently exploded online uh, in the context of the coronavirus pandemic as a bait and switch image. People began sending text messages with fake news about the coronavirus paired with a link to the picture. This photo of Wood has become one of the biggest memes we've seen this entire year. The identity of the man in the photo was a mystery until recently. I had a uh, friend uh, send me a text. Hey, didn't you take this picture? And I had to look at the picture about, say, five times, blinking my eyes like, wait a minute, that's my dog right there. Never believe what you hear or see on the internet. There's more behind that picture. We all have a photo that we probably wish, oh my God, I, I wish I wouldn't have done that. Once a photo of you spreads online, you have absolutely no control over what happens next. You could wake up one day and have your life turned upside down by every single person on the internet knowing your face. Da -da -da. There we go. I think these are them. Yeah. Testing my lighting so that this is, oh, and there's me being a weirdo. <laughs> uh, my name is Walter Smith. I'm the owner of Pantheon Productions. We produce gay daddy bear porn. Uh, I shot the scene with Wood on January 14th, 2010. Wood and I met at what was then the Gold's Gym in San Francisco. There's a handful of straight guys who worked out there and he was just super friendly. Every time he saw me, I'd walk in the gym and he'd say, Big Walt! And he'd give me like that bro handshake, you know, like grab my hand and like, blah, like slam into me. At some point I told him what I did for a living when I asked him if he would be interested in taking some photos. He was a little hesitant at first, but you know, uh, eventually he was like, yeah, I'll, I'll do it. I mean, as far as I know, it was Wood's first shoot and only. I remember because, you know, he's a, a straight guy, a little nervous. The photo of him on the bed sort of leaning forward, I, I do remember that. That's sort of, it's one of my favorite poses of guys. So I specifically asked him to do that. And then here, of course, is the picture. I took this picture of Wood more than 10 years ago, and then suddenly 10 years later, it's all over the internet. It's everywhere. It's a meme. My name is Don Caldwell. I'm the editor-in-chief of Know Your Meme. Know Your Meme is the world's largest internet culture encyclopedia and database. Of all the coronavirus-related meme entries on Know Your Meme, Wood sitting on a bed has the most interest in, in page views. This meme really started as a photo posted to the porn website Pantheon Productions in 2010. The photo was also photoshopped later to have Wood's penis massively enlarged. And then it started circulating through various sites like Reddit and 4chan in 2014 and really remained on these back channel forums until 2020 when it went mainstream during the coronavirus pandemic. As this meme began to explode on the internet, no one knew his true identity. People called him Wood, sometimes Barry, but it was later discovered that his name was Warty Joe Bear III, who had unfortunately passed away in 2016. My name is Karen Jobert, and I was Wardy Jobert third stepmother. Bishop Valentine contacted me because someone had sent it to him. I want to say it was earlier this year of 2020 is when I first got the text message, saw the picture, so I'm sitting on my bed and I had an ex coworker send me something through Facebook in my inbox. She was like, is this your brother? I was furious. I saw this picture of the new LA Rams logo with the head of Wardy. And I had to look at the picture about say five times blinking my eyes like, wait a minute, is this who I think it is? Those photos really weren't even who Wardy was. Let me tell you about the personality of Wardy Gilbert III. The biggest personality. He loves to laugh, to joke. 
He also loved to eat and loved a good meal. Still hungry. Look, y'all, still hungry. So my brother was like the life of the party. When nobody was dancing, my brother started dancing. He made the whole party dance. This guy could play baseball. He went from this little skinny, like shortstop to this fullback. So they started calling him the wood for how he would have the bat and be swinging and it would be so hard. So they gave him the name, the wood, the wood. Wardy played semi-pro football throughout San Francisco. As a teammate on the field, he was a leader. I would always say, damn, I'm lucky he's on my team. I actually gave Wardy's induction speech when he was inducted into the minor league football hall of fame. I had heard about his football cap he had for kids and youth and how he used to train them and so forth. And he was patient with the kids. He was loving with the kids, but he would push them. My brother was a very loving person. He would give you the shit off his back. He was a deacon in the church. He didn't thump the Bible. He didn't throw the Bible, but he lived the Bible. He was working with uh, our church. They did a, a lot of the street work that uh, others were afraid to go and do. They would go out there and just feed hundreds of people every week. He was giving away so much money and food and things to people, but he couldn't barely afford his own mortgage at times. What I discovered from Wardy was he had did some photos to actually earn some money because he was having a financial hardship at the time. That was a bad year. So I can understand why he did that. He did that to save his house. I never knew anything about it, but I'm not gonna, I never would judge my brother because he would never judge me. I don't know the motivation of that moment. It probably was desperate. We've all done desperate things that we probably are not uh, or proud of. But at the time in our conversations, I never knew that anything was at the point where, you know, he would go to that extreme. Sometimes desperate times call for desperate measures. Wardy Jobert III passed away in December 2016. It was a heart attack. Sorry. Uh, I miss him. I miss him today. I miss him every day. It has been very hard with him not being here. Wardy was like a mayor of San Francisco well-known anywhere and every way he went. The mayor of the street. The mayor was one of his name, and also he called himself Black Jesus. <laughs> so many people came out to his uh, homegoing celebration, and it was evident. He was definitely the mayor. I, I visited him on his birthday, and I also visited the day that he passed. Happy birthday, Cupcake. 46, boo. 46. Yo crazy ass. When we lost Wardy, we lost a great athlete, great man, great friend, great brother, a, a great pillar of the San Francisco community. You can't reduce any of us to one thing. So you can't reduce him to this picture at all. With a meme like Wood, I think it's sometimes easy to assume that people are just laughing at him, but I don't think that's necessarily always the case. A lot of times, even for shock images like this, people get an appreciation for the character. People actually like him. Because so many people developed affection for Wood as a meme, they started to like Wardy as a person as well. The GoFundMe site, it was established to pay for the final funeral expenses that were left, as well as to get him a headstone. Looking at every one of the comments, and I'm, I'm, I'm getting teared up and full of the kindness and generosity of people from all over who didn't even know him. Thanks for helping bring smiles to so many people during these difficult times. You've made a ton of people smile. Rest in peace, legend. Memes do bring us together. In a way, I think Woods uh, usage as a meme has kind of been approached as a way to provide comic relief and, and, and levity during the coronavirus. Because people feel scared, they feel weak, they feel helpless, powerless, and he looks the opposite of all those things. People can get caught up in the photos, the 
the memes or whatever, but we have to look at the bigger picture. What did he do for humanity? What did he do for the world? What did he do to help hurting people in the city of San Francisco and wherever he can touch lives? Wardy is bigger than one photo. My hope would be that people get to know the real Wardy Jobert. Yes, if you want to honor him, go out and help someone who is less fortunate, is in need right now. Give an encouraging word. Put a smile on someone's face with a simple message. Let that humor that you received from those photos help someone. We all can help each other. It doesn't take much.